Hello, today I'm going to be showing you my 2011 E150 camper van conversion. Let's get started. The van has 69,000 miles on it. It's super clean, there's zero rust. I have four new tires. On the roof I have three 100 watt Renogy solar panels, a Max Air Fan Deluxe, and two Pelican hard cases for extra storage. Behind the driver's door I have my shore power hookup. Moving to the back, on the rear driver's side door I have a table that hinges up and on the passenger rear door I have a elastic cargo net which I have some bungee cords in right now. At the rear of the passenger side, I have a filler neck for a diesel tank, which runs my S-Bar diesel heater, keeping the uh, chilly nights nice and toasty. On the side door, I have a hinge table, three wire baskets for storage. Um, before we go inside here, um, I have my two 20 liter freshwater tanks with a quick detach. I have a double sided privacy blackout curtain that pulls from both sides. Here my Dometic cooler refrigerator is with a, the protective cover case over it. Behind the cooler, um, in the bottom cupboard, I have all my electrical. Above that, I have an open storage area. Um, Max Air Fan Remote, remote for my six LED lights. Here my couch is during the day and folds into a bed at night. Storage is underneath. Here my counter area is <clears throat> two and a half gallon gray water tank behind that you can see my SureFlow water pump and accumulator I have a basket bolted down for storage I have two milk crates with the fronts cut out for storage I have two plastic totes here for storage Um, and here in the back, I have storage box, and underneath of it is the cubby for my S-Bar diesel heater, and then the diesel tank. Fire extinguisher there, which is easily accessible if need be. All the wood has been sanded, stained, and epoxied. Um, there's about a eight inch area along the back of the counter where you can stack soaps, paper towels. I had my French press coffee maker in here. Um, then I drilled these holes um, and made this for utensils, um, spatulas, whatever you wanna stick and have easy access to. This is the switch for the Renogy 2000 watt inverter charger. Um, here a receptacle is. My light switch and dimmer. And then more storage along the back here.
I hope you guys like this quick tour. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I would be glad to answer them. All in all, this is a very great van. Um, structurally and functionally, I think it is, I couldn't have designed and built a better one. Everything really operates and works smooth. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.